I'm three council persons here. I think we'll go ahead and start. This will be the November 13th meeting of the Huron City Council. And we'll be in order. We are in order. And I'm going to take a look and see who is here. Dana Brock, Christine Sullivan, Gabriel Zonker, Colton Green, and the mayor is here too. All right. We have the agenda before you. Is there anything on the agenda you wish to add or correct? Um, I'd like to add to unfinished business the homeschool room. And I didn't hear you under? Homeschool room under unfinished business. Anything else need to be moved or added? The motion would be in order. Issues. Oh, oh, we have bill, bills to look at. November bills. What's the status of the asbestos? Have we made any progress with asbestos? Well, they messed up the number. So, we're dealing with that. It's supposed to be in the invoice soon. That's at 3 to 5. Are they really cheaper at this point? <laughs> Is their position as a view that we still own some jackets? Is that the question? No, they messed up the, so one jacket is supposed to be going down in size, and instead of that happening, they started messing with other jackets. So, and it's not going to be right. So I talked to the manager, and he said, The reason there's a spot missing is because we got the building today and it was at the other end of the building. The Graham County Landfill $10 dumping demolition material that the stuff that we cleaned up mm -hmm. and had it all in. Not to mention the miners that right. come up to have to have some time. Just assume that was and time and gold for our staff. Won't be there if we mess around. The superior fire test the fire equipment, the fire signature that we will look at. Is there been some new ones that we will be testing? I believe there are some if they will be. Is this just a yearly charge then? Yes. 
international program for this. I think most of you know, if not, maybe a surprise, most of you know that Sharon Bird's song came her recognition uh, about the middle of October. <coughs> she was kind enough to uh, stay on staff through the end of the month, and Michaela was going to be going to her training school in Wichita for about parts of three days.
audience comments? I know you have comments. I think Luke, you wanted to talk about something. She, oh, did you want to talk about something? She wants to ask about the paper she was given. Okay. Come up here and talk to us. Yeah, come, in, come up here, Luffy. Mrs. Zephyr, right here. Well, no, no, no. She don't know. It's her house. I'm, I'm standing here pointing. Oh. I'm sitting here. Yes. Hi, what is the question? I don't know. Did, uh, somebody take papers to the house. Uh -huh. Say in a lot. I don't say in the Sebastian house. Uh -huh. and, and I don't know what the plan is to do right now. Was there any insurance uh -huh. on the uh -huh. house? Sometimes insurance has. I know. Money uh, involved in for cleanup if there's a. Yeah. Ah. I know. I was going to say and say you want to work on it. That is like soon. I don't know when. I don't know. I couldn't tell you how. The other option we had talked about is we never heard back from. Did we ever hear back from Danny on anything like that? We were looking into the legal rights on if we could help finance tying it down and you guys making pay and then making payments to the city if that assistance was needed. Mm -hmm. It'd be like tacked on to the water bill or something, but we never heard back from the lawyer on if we could do oh, okay. but that's something that we were mm -hmm. gonna talk about is if we could offer mm -hmm. we weren't sure if we could and or if assistance like that was needed. Well, um, when you to the say and you know, was it going to do? Yeah. Yeah. Is it you can get the you go for. I can't. Maybe at the next, can you guys come back to the next meeting? And let us know where it stands on it. We need to. It doesn't need to be cleared, and it's a hazard for safety here in town. It needs to be cleaned up. Sooner or later, kids will go in there and mess around. I was at the fire. I know that some of that ceiling and stuff was pretty unstable. And don't check. Don't walk in there. Yeah. Yeah. It does need to be cleaned up. We, it does need to be. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. We don't want to leave let, it there. For let's long work time. on a, uh, resolving it together. We need to look at seeing what we can do and help them get it torn down or whatever. That would be better than. <coughs> Next month. Thank you. Thank you. We're open for about discussion comments from the audience. Well, we're still right here on this. Can we talk about this? Might as well come up while we're talking here. <laughs> Could we get, is anybody in favor of getting a bid for, from somebody about getting it torn down in case we could? I had a kid, it's not official. Or maybe get one or two bids. And then, because it's going to be free to get a bid. Right. We're not going to be out of anything, but a phone call. And then if Danny says we can do something like that, then we can, you know, we'll have to write a contract to go forward with that. Mm -hmm. If he says we can't, we're not out of money. Mm -hmm. So we wouldn't be waiting another month. Demolition and falling off through, through the plan. And we're going to have to do something with level because yeah. that has a basement, a yeah. partial basement or cellar under it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think we should get a couple. It is at least 
Ketchum is the one that was at the fire and said he'd do it cheap to help the city get it cleaned up. You might call T.W. and Ketchum. I have to think about it. It's Ethan Ketchum out of Sylvia, I think. I cannot think of this. T.W. Is that Yes. Okay, we will solicit a couple of bids. Does that conclude this item? All right. So please come up and tell us your name and what's on your mind tonight. You can lean on the podium. That's what I do. Uh, my name is Sierra Bates. And I don't hear well, so you got to use Sierra Bates. Um, we had a complaint made about our rooster and a car that's up on the center box because we're doing work on it and using it for parts for my husband's car and apparently obnoxious weeds, which that was my bad. I did not inform him, but they were golden rods that my husband had actually planted. I wasn't aware that's what those were, <laughs> but he had planted them to keep my front porch from flooding, but I went ahead and pulled them up earlier today because it's winter time, they're dead anyway, so it's fine. But I don't feel I should have to get rid of my rooster because I only have the one and he is the only reason my hens are still alive after a neighbor's husky got out and killed my entire flock. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the only one that has roosters yet. I'm expected to get rid of my one. When people around me have multiple and no one said anything to them, but That's I can't. Coming, I think, I was going to say, I should be allowed to keep him because he fought, he has fought off coons, he's fought off stray cats, he has fought off two dogs now, a husky, which is the one that killed my entire flock except for two hens, and another stray dog who got in there and killed at least three hens that I had, and ate them whole, but there was nothing but feathers left, that was it. There was only more new bones, and we killed that one because we caught it in the coop, and the husky we did have to shoot because it charged my husband while it was in the middle of killing more chickens. So we did do something with with that one, but never got anything from the neighbors. And they know what happened with their dog because I told them what happened. Never heard anything about it. But if it wasn't for him, my other two hens that I have left that had just started laying would be gone. And it's not fair to have to get rid of him when he has survived everything. Because I even got rid of my dogs because they tried to kill the chickens and he protected them from my dogs, so I got rid of them. I, it's just not fair to me because he, he's not a problem. Remind me again of your address. 306 North Will. 306 North Will. North Will. Yeah. Thank you. And the car we're working on getting rid of, but my Uncle Jake, we borrowed his truck to move it. He's out of town for work, so we can't use it till he gets back because we have to use it to get a land, the car dolly to move the car. But my husband said if we can, if y'all will give us an extension to this weekend, then he's hoping to get it gone this weekend or as soon as Jake gets back from being on the road. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this, is, this is a work in progress. Though. Yes. Moving, moving towards. I was about to say, basically that car was just Park's car for mm -hmm. his car, which now that he's gotten all the parts that he needs off of it, it's going away. And I'd already informed the officer of that when he came by. Mm -hmm. We're just having issues getting it out of here because we don't have a truck. <laughs> mm -hmm. The uh, city ordinance does forbid roosters. I know. I, I'm, I'm just saying that that's, that's the regulation we, we go by. And I know there are more the people that have them. Uh, we do have a, a new building inspector. I suspect you'll be discussing the rooster issue with other people who have a well, so. I was informed, by the way, that that ordinance, when it was supposed to be written, was actually supposed to say no cockfighting roosters, not regular roosters. They just did not type that in. They just typed in roosters. But it was supposed to say no fighting roosters, is what I was made aware of. 
which is why I've kept them until now. That may be the case, but it, it, that's new information to me. Yeah, it just says no research. So. But that may have been the intent at one point in time. I was about to say, because I use them for not just protection, but I also use them for springtime for chicks. Mm -hmm. Because I sell chicks to my mom, my sister, and other people. And if I don't have them, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's money out of my pocket, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Smart. Very good. Thank you. Thank you sir. Questions for uh, Thank you. 
Motion to accept the contract with Nisley's on the option two. Five-year contract. Two eyes and 
two names. Yeah. Okay. You're going to put it on me now. Okay. Name. Three the tenure. I'd like to uh, I'd like to call an executive session for uh, 15 minutes. They didn't announce this speech on the contract. Mayor, council, and all the personnel. Kenny, are you going to announce who got the trash service? Because we can't hear over here. Can't can hear it myself. We contract with the word to Stutzman on a on a three to two uh, vote. Okay. Is that what your that's your question? I think they were waiting for you, right? 
It's really hard to hear out here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just thank you. Thank yeah. Thanks for using us for so long, and I'll, McKayla, I'll come by and see you. Well, come back again yeah. and try again at some point. Okay. Ten years. Ten years. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll give you contact. Thank you very much. And we're having a lot of stray dogs being dropped but off. But the dogs and the cats, yeah, that's what the property officers probably <clears throat> need to have an animal control person. Do that. Well, yeah, every we time we do, do, she gets mad and quits. We need a stray dog to kill her. We need a pop chicken. here too. Well, I think what her problem was, her daughter was dying, and she yeah. couldn't yeah. do it no more. That's right. And by the way, it wasn't one of my huskies she killed. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know their names. I don't even know anything about them. Well, that husky. Was catty corner to me. 
Next the Husky's been oh, issues. It's been learning back, back and forth. And well, that was the third time it got out. I was the third time it got out. I told him the second time. I said, if it does it again, it kills the chickens. We're going to have a problem. Well, he must have just gone. Killed the whole flock before Janet caught it. Yeah. Well, what? Well, well there for a long time, we had the only Husky. And now, hey, welcome. They're in the executive session. Okay. Thank you. And we are um, right in there. Uh huh. Hey, thought you forgot about us. No. No. Um. Yeah. How about you busy chasing the kids around the house? Oh, we're going to do this. We missed one fortnight and another day. It's all Hey, you How about yourself? Who are you? 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 Are you going to come there for Christmas yeah. and see Santa Claus? Are you going to come there too? You didn't come? Yeah. No, we were out in the hotel. Did you, did you get some candy? Did you get candy? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I wasn't open, I just did it. Because we were supposed to, I got to replace everything. I think it's the standard board. You're messing my dog. You're messing my dog today. Everything we're in. Go by the way. Foot hanging out the door. I have to replace it all. You look at the urban. And nobody went out there to check well, it. it was me and my book was hanging out the door. Yeah, I just tried to figure out what he was trying okay. to leave the vehicle. It's still moving. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Anyway, the sign is too far over, so I'm going to call the county and have them come out. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Uh, not a gym. Sit. Uh, I wasn't going to make no more picture. <laughs> I guess I have to test five. Where are you going, you filming? Yeah. I'm scared of you putting my hip brace on. Messenger. 
This is what's left. But tell John he better not go no more because I enjoy watching him go by with that little dog. Oh. Yeah. 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 Those are probably harder to rock. Yeah. Well, I mean, the same thing in all the times in quantity, they've been hard. Listen, I told the boys they couldn't have any because they didn't put them. So well, there Dana you go. and I are taking them home. There you go. Let's 
I'm, I'm just going to make one comment. They're going to be sorry. Huh? They're going to be sorry. Going for a 10 year contract. Because this isn't a family owned business, it's a corporation. Listen, I said no. I did my research. Yeah. He said it's we haven't actually met. I used to be the mayor. And unfortunately, that's my daughter. <laughs> unfortunately? Yeah, because that, that's what she feels because half the time I give her crap. Oh, uh, well, yeah, okay. She's a good kid. I'm proud of her. Whatever happened to the grant we were going to try and get for those? Well, that's what I'm going to ask. Whatever and happened. put it back on their mind. Do they have any lines? Because it. Because the lake ran through it. Really? That didn't have matters because I don't think you're supposed to do that. Huh? I don't think you're supposed to do that. Run off is not. Yeah. On the Giesling's property? Hmm? On the Giesling's property? Did it go in on the Giesling's property? Yeah. The lake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about the shop. Oh, oh my God. the lake ran through the shop. Oh, like it used to do. Worse. 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 Because it used Luckily, to come. I mean, it's in the back of the shop. It ain't up in the office, but it's. Yeah, it ran, it ran out the garage door. Which is good, but not good that it's coming all the way through. And almost all the way out to the back garage door. So, are you watching to make sure you don't fall down? No, just stop the dirt. Just stop the You do realize if you have an accident, you're supposed to call me. Yeah. Okay. Because I get to do all the paperwork. Be nice to her, though, when you call her. Oh, he's always nice to me. <laughs> we share a great grandson. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, it used to come through the EMS room and go right through the office. No, it's barely more. No. I didn't know how much more. running down the wall. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd like to know whatever happened to the new firehouse we were supposed to get this year. I know the year isn't over yet. Not much left. Yeah, year ain't over yet. We might have a new one by the end of the year. Start, start building fast. We <laughs> can have inflatable building, then blow it up and be done. Is it going to be one of those bouncy builders where you can all yeah. come in here and jump around? Yeah. I don't see us putting fire trucks in it then. That's yeah. what's going to hold the building down. Oh, okay. <laughs> the inflatable fire trucks. In the inflatable yeah. room. Is it just raise the taxes? Well, of course, they got to find some way to do it. It's getting cold out. Not yet. Wait till next week. I know where you live. 
I would dump up a bunch of snow in your yard. <laughs> don't bother me. He's going to get it before we do. Yeah, Pat always gets it. I'm ready to go to Florida and visit my dad for four months. No, I don't, I don't think I'm going to go to Florida right yeah. now. I mean, he lives in the Panhandle, so it's not so bad. Um, oh, you know when coming in. Yeah, but he know, he's, he's an hour out of Panama City, all he gets is rain. <coughs> he's still mowing his yard. He'll be 92 on the 19th. I said, well, from my own heart, he might make 118. I hope he does. I just wish I had his body, because I must have got my mom's. That's how long it would be 118. I'm always been all the kids that are here, so you don't get nothing. Hey, if you like fishing, go to Ham Auction on the 23rd. Hmm? If you like fishing stuff, Ham Auction on the 23rd. Because Jay's fiance's dad, I got almost a full trailer of nothing but fishing stuff. Deep sea everything. Pack of boxes loaded. I mean, I nice car back there the 75. I'm sorry. They didn't bring it here, did they? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what the story was. Oh, uh, no action was taken in the executive session. What are we thinking now? Um, I'll make a motion that we hire Linda Brown on a temporary basis for Suffolk. Uh, temporary uh, for 13 to an hour. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Aye. 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 We thought you were mad at Christine. That's why she came back. <laughs> I didn't even hear her talk. <laughs> Do you accept? Yeah. I've already put in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was sitting here reading this. I'm like, what is this for? Is there supposed to be? Oh, is the question we got to be accused? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that many folks. For the I call three places. I know. So he can try the most. Right away again. Um, so that is the quote she gave me. Um, and then the second one said in general, we want to do on how many that you do and this one's $15 per year. Yes. You have what? Six? No, I mean it's 14. Oh, okay. That's a lot. That's so cool. Yeah, like oh, I can't forget about that. Just don't fit. And the other was 200, you said? Two to two fifty. And the other one was the one that I can't be back with. And this one's out of four. Yeah. And the other one's out of touch. So the two fifty one one for the I don't know. 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 Well, he said he has all the time. 
I make a motion that we use Monica Baker accounting to do our tax work for W2 and the 10 million for 2024. All right, does everybody have the uh, my report that they could hand it out to you? Yeah. In that case, I will let you ask questions. Or at least maybe I'll let you read it first. Is there a protocol listed in our regulations and such for your duties and what happens when you write a, uh, a citation somewhere and what what, uh, what the procedure is. Do we need to amend that protocol to any extent? Uh, and, uh, my question also goes to you, uh, 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 Mr. Lynch, about, the, about following that protocol since we've kind of changed our format a little bit. With the, uh, no, I, I don't think so. We talk, I sent him the notices that we've been using. We, Tweaked them a little bit, but those all lay out once they get the notice, how much time they have to request a hearing, that's what it is, or some of them sets a hearing, and then the steps that'll be taken. If they don't do that, and don't correct the condition. So I, I think the ordinances are good as they are, but I'm open to working on them if the yeah. issues come up. The only thing I'm concerned about is that other than the 10 days to request a hearing, there is no there are no time constraints. It's all open-ended, and if it's open-ended, it's going to be ignored. Uh, laws that are not um, surely and rapidly enforced are ignored and eventually are irrelevant. And uh, you're, the, you're the council and mayor, you're going to do what you deem best. But I think something needs to be in the, uh, in the, at least in the procedure, if not in the ordinance, uh, outlining how much time folks have. With a proviso that if they, we already have the good faith uh, clauses, but it's still open-ended. So if somebody, if we say, okay, you've got 10 days to request a hearing or rectify the problem. Then they have that opportunity to request a hearing, in which case you can give them another 10 days or whatever time frame you feel is best. But if it's open-ended, it's never going to get fixed. 
I could request a hearing, and it might be three weeks or almost a month before that. Yeah, if they hearing request a hearing in ten days. Assuming we're doing, assuming we're doing the hearing at a yeah, the council we're not going to have a special meeting every day. Right, it'll fall <laughs> at the. But it could, yeah, it could be. So you, if they request a hearing on the first and the, or the tenth. They're still going to have a month before that hearing comes yeah. around. Okay. So that gives them plenty of time. So it's, you know, whatever you think, whatever you think you want to do. Well, and then in that situation, we just take into consideration that they had. Or I mean, you've got to use some common sense. Here. Exactly. Now, you know, they're, they're, to kind of answer that, they're set up on the ones where you have 10 days to either correct the violation or request a hearing. And that 10 days pass and they haven't done either, then most of the city can go through the abatement process and start at that point of the mm -hmm. But the approach we take in the past is trying to get voluntary compliance with sure. the property owner. Because if, if they do it, that saves the city the time, the labor, the expense on doing it. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we, we generally try to work with folks to make the progress stretch that out but if we wanted to push it as fast as we can after 10 days if they haven't done anything then we can start the abatement process at that point so th there is a time limit in it we just haven't pushed it that way mm -hmm. the big thing is too on like the the rooster thing we've asked that and i know you know so this is one for we've asked that those things come to the council before they get sent out because there's 20 houses with roosters in this town. There are houses that had roosters before that ordinance was made. So which houses are grandfathered in? Because you cannot make an ordinance and outlaw something that was already there. Well, your ordinance has been in place for a while, has it not? It's not a new ordinance. It's been a handful of years, but there are houses that had chickens before that one. With the same occupants in the same houses? Yeah. Go to Denver Yep. Was there any, any uh, validity to what she said about the uh, original intent of the ordinance to be outlawing uh, fighting roosters. So, do, do you want to? The ordinance has never once been in force since it was put in place. I can tell you that. <laughs> uh, I just didn't know if you wanted to have that information. Or yeah. Well, that might have been true, but it's not what the ordinance says. Right. No. Yeah. That was part of the intention. Yes. So what, what was part of the intention? Fighting roosters? Yeah. I don't I'm not that I'm was, not a country boy, so that I don't know. Part what, of the intention. No, I don't I'm know what the problem with fighting roosters, roosters is. Illegal. Uh, fighting roosters are illegal. And there was that well, one. Well the breed's not illegal, it's illegal to fight Yeah. Game birds are not illegal. That is the breed, game birds. Game birds are not illegal. It's illegal to fight. Mm -hmm. The ordinance was made because there was speculation that there was fighting chickens in trouble. Was there any state statute? A factory? About roosters or anything like that. Are you sure? For sure. I and think technically, be by law, that roosters ordinance is not illegal because if you're growing a rooster to eat it, you can grow it in town. <laughs> Hey, they're good. Huh? She said she would want to eat a rooster. I said I wouldn't eat it. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you buy bullet runs, you don't know what you're buying. Yeah, that's right. When they are chaps, you don't know what you're buying unless you're an expert. Yeah. Well, having a hundred every year for 20 years, I think. Okay, we've gotten through that. Did you have. Well, what, exactly where did we leave off? <laughs> well, um, nothing was really, uh, I'll talk, I'll just keep in touch with Danny on the time when it's an open-ended thing. Uh, I don't know if it's my responsibility 
to uh, enforce within the, the 10 day thing. Uh, if it's something you guys want to deal with every time, it's not, it hasn't been real clear to me what the procedure should be. And um, I'm, I'm a guy that does things the way they're supposed to be done. Um, and so I need to know what, what it is you want me to do. And I'll do it. If you want me to uh, side everybody with the rooster, I'll go in the backyards and start looking for rooster. Yeah, you don't have the legal right to go in the backyards and stuff. You have a legal right to go to the front door and knock, but we don't carry liability to cover you. The, the ordinances do indicate I have the right to enter the property. That's the not legal. The ordinances do say that. I wouldn't enter. That's, and I'm going to get to you on the down here and this, because that's not legal. You have the right to go to a front door. Just because you're a property officer does not give you the right to trespass. Just tell me what the ordinance uh, said, and I did not go into the backyard on the situation well, that's why I was just going with, with, with not real. Um, yeah, it was That first one, one on price. Right. Price. Price. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> yes, it's, uh, you know. Oh, is it the one about the 407 East price? Thank you. I was that, was a, that was an old one that I was asked to follow up on. And uh, the first time I went by, uh, Carl, uh, the owner, Carl Henson, came to the door. We talked. He wasn't ready for whatever reason. And uh, we made an appointment for me to come back the following day at 2. And he was going to show me what he had done. Unfortunately, I had forgotten that I had to take my wife for physical therapy the following day. So uh, the following day after that, I went by and a woman answered the door who said she was not his wife and he wasn't home. I said, okay, have him call City Hall, we'll reschedule, and I'll come back. Did not happen. I came back the next day. I've been by about three times afterwards with nobody answering the door. The last time I walked around, um, towards the back, the fence is broken down, so I had no problem looking in without going on the property. And I took pictures, I don't know if you guys got those or not, but uh, there wasn't enough room for a good game of hopscotch back there. There's so much stuff. Uh, he mentioned to me that he was having trouble affording the repairs to make it able to have water service. He can't afford those repairs. I don't know how he's going to afford to clear all that stuff. He's got a van up on, on up on blocks. He has a little four wheeler that he's working on. Well, well there's there's junk everywhere. I, I wrote up notices for all that, but I didn't really I didn't serve them because I didn't want to stack stuff up on the guy that was already stressed. Well, and I don't know that we need to serve that yet because I think that goes up for tax options more. Yes. Yeah, get your checkbook out, man, and you go every year. I'm not buying it. Yeah, you don't want to own it again? You can sell it again. That actually goes, unless the taxes get paid by tomorrow. I don't know, we'll be there. We were here last month, the uh, young lady came and visited with us about that property, said he was trying to make progress. She was sure that some progress was being made towards patching up the leaks and the plumbing and trying to get serviceable. Uh, but it was hard to do on his income, which I think was limited to a Social Security progress check or something like that. He told me that he got the sewer line cleared. I have no way of verifying that, of course, but that he said he got that much done. And the rest he was still working on. Um, I don't think we need to stack up ordinance violations to see where that's going. The problem I have with this, the way things were handled before, is kind of like you said, they get they get their 10 days, then they get another 10 days, then they get another 10 days, and then like 20, 30 days mm -hmm. in, still nothing gets finished. So. Yeah. And the problem is, it's open-ended on this one. 
It's open ended on this one. Pretty soon everybody's just going to assume it's going to be open ended, not they're not going to worry about it. And uh, notices don't mean anything anymore because it's just paper. Well, you know, if you send them to the last known address, they never get picked up. I mean. You know, what do yeah. you do about something like that? The house on South Duncan, uh, when I when I served no, the uh, notice uh, about the uh, grass and weeds, uh, there was still a, a water bill notice tacked to the door. That's why I looked at it and said, these people aren't living here anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I did give uh, Ms. Kayla some addition, an additional notice or two for that property because they, the back has uh, two outbuildings and one of them has a, a doorway that was boarded shut and somebody pried the door off and that's uh, unfortunately an opportunity for all sorts of illicit activity and potentially a, uh, a hazard for uh, fire. Um, then the other outbuilding was right behind the house and it's all caved in. What got what really got me was you could see um, less than five feet from the, uh, the outbuilding with the openings and all sorts of areas that could be hazardous was a child's ball. So some child's been back there playing ball near that kind of a hazard. And, uh, uh, that, scared me for, for the child. But at any rate, she, uh, I gave that to her to, to mail out. Um, I guess I'm not familiar with the 301 East Chicago. 301 East Chicago is at Chicago and Maine. It's the Purple House. Right on the corner. The southeast corner. Multiple uh, junk vehicles, one of which is up on the stands. So to be clear, is, are the rigs this still supposed to get rid of the rooster? Is that is that the decision, or do you want me to hold off on worrying about that? Yeah. I'm personally, I would be more concerned about the dog getting out and attacking people and, and animals than I would be the rooster. But that's that's me. Of course, of course, that dog is not a problem anymore, apparently. <laughs> I think the problem was, at one time, there was a residence here that had multiple roosters. Mm -hmm. And a rooster will crow a lot. And if you have 10, 20 roosters, it gets to be annoying. Then it does become a sound complaint. I'm just saying, I think that was what maybe brought this, this ordinance on. I don't have a problem with a rooster, but I'm kind of a hillbilly too, so. Maybe, maybe the ordinance should be amended so that it allows for whatever, whatever number of roosters y'all like. Amended to allow that. not be an obnoxious animal. Well, my wife's an early bird. I get up at five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning anyway, so it's not going to bother me if I had a rooster crowing behind me. But there, there's a lot of these ordinances. in my house. I think maybe they apply to this town. But I mean, we got one book here. May I give you a humorous anecdote along that line? Sure. When I was a patrolman in Wichita, we still had a law in the books that if you're entering the city coming from the south on Broadway, you have to have somebody running 100 feet in front of you waving a lantern so it's not scared of horses. Oh <laughs> that, I don't that, know if it that happens. Way, it's still a lie that if you steal a horse, you're going to be hung for. That's a legal lie. 
Now what's going to happen to the person that hangs somebody? So archaic laws are not unusual, but they are a pain in the neck and should be changed. But you do what you want to, you guys. Just let me know what you want me to do. Seriously. Um, talk about Henson's. Yeah. Raise your hand. Okay. I think I've covered everything on my report. Is, are there any questions about that report or about why I'm wearing these glasses? One behind you. What about Manny living in that garage? Well, he's. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was I was told that by uh, let's see I spoke with David Blackburn yeah. who made the, uh, the complaint mm -hmm. about that mm -hmm. and um, he told me he was told by city attorney which would be Danny I assume mm -hmm. that uh, if he could get some sort of uh, photographic documentation mm -hmm. then he could act on that uh, I'm not real excited about going through that burnt out house looking for Manny. Well, we don't want you going to so, burnt out house, but the garage beside it, I would think that you could go there and get him. He should not be living in a garage because absolutely. Yeah. He had, for number one, he does not have a bathroom there. He's peeing on the floor, <laughs> apparently. And number two, we don't let, uh, we've got Brandon McMahon out of his house that didn't have utilities. So He's we're letting back another guy live in that house with no utilities. Mm -hmm. Well, how can we let this guy live in this house and the other guy went to jail because he didn't have any utilities? So the city's It's probably a matter of, of being able to catch him. Okay. Well, I mean, we had today. I wonder no, how it's tomorrow. tomorrow. I'll tell you how him and Brandon both have court. Yeah. Yeah. He goes to court tomorrow. Oh, no. But he uh, is burning. Are you going? I'll be there. I got subpoenas. <laughs> yes. Wow. I will be there. Mr. Blackburn said that he has a lot of, of uh, uh, video cam surveillance camera footage. Yes. On some sort of a hard drive. And he showed it to me. Uh, he, he doesn't know how to get it off on, and onto a thumb drive. Yes. Yeah. That's her brother. As soon as his son comes over and they can figure it out and put it on a thumb drive, he's going to call and I'll pick it up and get it to our city attorney. Let him see if there's actionable video. Well, and I, I, I think the notice that we sent out on 107 East Nebraska on that house should cover both parts of that property, but I, I think that's up uh, next time. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Anything else? Question the store of the property. Uh, one more question I need to ask you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the house across the street from me, the 208 Kansas Street. Okay. It's empty. The kids are climbing. I guess they're kids. It's climbing on it. I fixed the front door. I fixed the back door so they can't climb, go through it without me knowing it. Okay, now they're climbing on the washer and dryer that's on the side of the house, on the east side of the house, and they're going in through that window. Now what do we do? That house is, is I promise you, is not very good for little kids to be in. Well, even if it were brand new, we wouldn't want kids climbing in. And, well, uh, didn't they find paraphernalia? Yes, you know, yes, they did. 208 East Kansas? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Right by you. Yeah, it's right across the street from where I'm at. <laughs> yes. And it, I mean, these kids are running in and, you know, in the garage where they had it stacked full of, and, you know, they could really get, I mean, there could be needles in there because I know what the people were that lived there before. And it's really a concern because these little kids are the little, you know, little Mexican kids that live next door in your house. They go in they, and they just run in and out of there. And I don't know, I mean, you know, I put, ran them off from over there. Raymond's got on to them for being over there and they just keep going back. Well, he put a, uh, a brick in front of the door so we could tell if they went through the front. Lori went in and fixed it so they couldn't come in the back door. 
And now they're climbing up on that washer and stackable dryer and climbing in the window. And I just don't know how to keep them from doing it. I mean, I ran them off and ran them off and they just keep going back. And it's sad because they could get really hurt. I would like to see something done on that one sooner than later. Because it's set a long time, just yeah. a mess. Okay, I'll go by there and see what all I can go right up and get something started. Is the owner of that property local or absentee? No, uh, he lives over in Plavna. Is he accessible? Is he responsive if we contact him? Will he do anything? He, oh. sh he should have got a notice. Well, you know, I don't know if he will or not. Right. But I know he lives over by Plavna. Okay. Between Park or Silver and Plavna. Let's move on. Any questions for the saying? property officer? Uh, is it still Sam? No. Vince, I want to bring you into this conversation. Before your no, arrival, we had a, a young lady here who was cited for having a doctor. Okay. Uh, uh, a citation to which she objects. What do we do? Jason. Do we uh, let it slide? Or do we change the ordinance? Or if we're going to let those things slide, then I think we have to change the ordinance. Well, that, I guess from my end, that's a question to the council whether or not you want us to enforce. The, that ordinance ban in prisoners. If, if he wants to enforce it, then the next step will file well, something we just won't court. But if, if the council doesn't want to see that done, um, let us know. Well, part of it is the big thing is Charm has ordinances, not laws. Uh, we let an ordinance slide on not charging a water. Uh, down payment on the water and stuff. How many ordinance are we going to change? Because we're sliding a lot. How many ordinances are we going to change? And they are ordinances, not laws. I understand the difference in those. And I had no vote on that, but I would have voted against doing that, even though the people there were friends. Because you set a precedent. You set unfortunately, a precedent. I thought it was a bad precedent to set in that situation. And it's been set. Uh, but again, they've been set for years. Again, if, if we have <laughs> we have roosters that are grandfathered in, or or um, it's going to be uh, that, that's going to cause a lot of rubs. Is he in our news used to say to Lucy, you know, you gotta have a lot of splaying to do when one one, one yeah. household decided for two roosters and somebody else has like grandfathered roosters like and they have like plenty of them. I think it means re if we're gonna rewrite it, it means we be rewritten like we did the dog ordinance. To not be for pit bulls, it needs to be for aggressive or obnoxious animals. Which then becomes a, a subjective call. Well, because it's obnoxious that falls under that ordinance and it falls under the noise ordinance if the crow and all night long and stuff. They may be, they may be sweet and cuddly with their owner and, and uh, <laughs> obnoxious to uh, yeah, as well as when, when the neighbors walk by. That, that's where you have to become proof that they're being obnoxious and they're a problem. Help, help me out here. I'm going to move my head here. <laughs> well, part of the thing, you, you guys have talked like you're not opposed to roosters in town. If, that, if that's the answer, then I, I don't want to follow a municipal court case for someone having a rooster. And then you guys say, no, we're okay with roosters change the order. If you don't want roosters, we'll, we'll file the case on it and we'll cite everyone else that has roosters that we're aware of. But if, if you guys want roosters in town, then the answer would be to change that ordinance to allow whatever number of roosters you guys think is appropriate. Are we allowing 10 chickens? Mm -hmm. yeah. You don't need one. Well, I'm not saying I want them. One of those different chickens is plenty. 
Yeah, that's exactly right. Yes. Well, that's the problem. Well, that's Mr. Lynch. The other question that we had earlier this evening: the owner of the burned out house and his house was uh, was here in the company of another lady who would help uh, translate and help with the uh, conversation. And of course, we made it clear that this was a mess that needed to be uh, cleaned up. I think they put in poverty, I think, was kind of a situation. Uh, Dave was wondering if we could, if the city can go ahead and uh, find a way to demolish that and, and cover the bills and pay the bills and then charge that back to the to the property owner on, on, a, yeah, on a monthly payment basis of some sort. What's your name on that? I didn't have a good answer either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know why why you could write a contract uh, to provide that service for this payment. We did it on a water meter one time. Yeah. It's I, been done on several times. Yeah. It was done on it's city it. maintenance equipment being used. It's been done before since I was on the council. Yeah, that would be, that would need to be separate in the ordinance violation proceeding. <coughs> we can tie those two together. So the ordinance happened? violation proceeding so is him living in the garage? No, we, we said it on the condition of the house. Um, and if you go through that process... So we told them that we weren't going to do anything and that they were to come back next month and we were going to talk to you and come up with a plan on it. We could and they were to come up with, with figuring out if they were going to do something without us. Yeah. Well, I, and where I'm going with that, if we go through the ordinance and go through the abatement process, then I don't think we can do a separate contract that says you're going to pay this. We come with a contract that you're going to pay us back the abatement process. I think if you go through that process, if they don't pay it, it gets assessed on the property through the ordinance violation or it's a separate contract saying we will tear this down. But we could wait till next month. We could put the ordinance violation on hold and wait till next month, come up with a contract. If they don't want to sign a contract with us, then we could go for the ordinance violation. <coughs> because it's still an ordinance violation after next month right. if they don't sign a contract. Right. So what if they sign the contract and I'm not saying they won't, but they can't. They make two or three payments. We're going to tie to the water bill. The water bill is going to shut off. But can they do that? I don't know. Yes. All <laughs> 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 we have to do is keep it. We don't have a, a bids yet, for, so we don't have numbers we can work with. Right. We don't have bids for cleanup, so I don't. It would be a surprise to me if you had members to put in the contract even next time. Yeah. Oh, we get numbers before next month. And you'll get them to Mr. Lynch and you can run up the contract? DNW and, and Ketchum Ag Services will get. Ketchum will probably Let's come. Let's assume that they get right away on the stick there and know what they're doing. Well, Ketchum was at the fire. His firefighter out of the yeah. Yeah. He was at the fire and he already kind of get him. Me around it on cleaning it up, so he probably doesn't even have to come back to Toronto to give an estimate. But you'll have to give the other guys some time to him. And if he don't get it back by then, we may only have one bid. Do we wish to instruct Mr. Lynch to prepare a contract and we can leave the amounts and the payments uh, open till the, till the last possible moment, but we can write the language? Uh, yeah, because the the amount could be the fill in the blank amount. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. There's the third verbal verbiage part of the contract. Okay, the big thing is if we go through the ordinance, we're going to assess it to the taxes. And the taxes are not going to get paid, and it's going to go to tax auction, and we're not getting the money back in. 
Well, I, I fully expect the people just to not pay, pay the taxes and right. And they don't want property the property anymore either if the house is gone. So. And it's going to go to tax auction and we don't get paid anything. Because yeah, once so. it goes to tax auction, the city does not get paid for their part. So I think contract would be a whole lot smarter than signing up to lose it. I'll, I'll bring something next month on that. So we'll just put the ordinance violation, even though it's been sent, we'll just put the ordinance violation on hold. Because they did contact us, they were here. They contacted us and... Yeah. I'll, I'll bring something next week for you guys to look at. Further discussion of the property officer. How much time would you like me to tell the rigs they have <clears throat> to get their stuff taken care of, other than the rooster? Uh, other than the rooster. What was uh, Carl? Carl Jacks. Jack, like, maybe call him this weekend. This I'm sorry. Weekend. She's, she, he's going to haul that off this weekend, is what she said. Yeah. I'd give him two weeks. I'll just keep an eye on it. And, and then she pulled people. up the, she pulled up the weeds. They were like marigold. What she said was uh, golden rod. Golden, golden rod. rod. I, I yeah. wouldn't know a golden rod if it hit me in the face. But golden rod is used to make kibbutzah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but there was also a, a lot of uh, a lot of other stuff. Similar to the uh, the car shop there at Price and Burns, where there's a lot of stuff grown up, and it's uh, basically grown up because there's a bunch of car parts just sitting out there in the in the, yeah. in the ground, and a lot of their stuff <clears throat> was growing up because they have a lot of stuff laying around, and then in the backyard it was unmoored, obviously. Um, Uh, the, the car up on jacks is the safety issue, other than fire. Uh, other than that, it, the grass is just a, a, a nuisance. Uh, so I'll keep an eye on, on that, and hopefully they'll sure enough get that taken care of. Um, hey, that, that probably might be somewhat responsive. Uh, yeah. Um, my my conversation with Sierra was was reasonable, and, and uh, I think she was reasonable tonight too. So and, okay, and I'll go by and take a look at Kansas and see what we can do to take some action there. And uh, all right, and that. Let's move on. The hour goes later and later. If it's okay with you, I'll go ahead sometime this month. I'll see if I can't meet with city attorney because you had asked about the pr procedures and process. Mm -hmm. I don't know what all the pr procedures and process right. are right That's now. Right. So I, I can sit right. I can sit down with him and we can talk about it. He can tell me what the procedure is, see what it what it is that I can do, and see what it is that you have to do or that he has to do and I'll come back with the report. How many times we can do like <laughs> Okay you, sir. You bet you. Good night. Yeah, good night. I think a bunch of us want to see some of these complaints before they're going out because the complaints that haven't been touched in the last 10 years and we're getting blindsided by some of the phone calls and stuff that we're getting and we'd like to be aware before you get a nasty phone call. And that's going to put us back another month. Well, but I can start forwarding phone numbers to other people. Some nice the I'm going to start telling you just who wants to complain. You want it? I don't care. You want it? I'll call it. I'm not saying on, I'm I'm not saying on all of them. The, like the Kyle Mumford uh, car deal. A lot of the vehicles move around. Why not like the vehicles as long as they're tagged and insured, they're fine. That was a 
I think that's I think that's the issue though. Yeah. They go after every base where town that's not pegged. I don't know. I mean, that's, I'm just saying that's what the ordinance says. Tags and insurance. A trailer house that has a title also that the taxes aren't being paid on. It's like a vehicle not getting taxes paid. On. That's personal. I'm not yeah, sure how you right. know that if it's insured or not. Well, let's see. That's the funny thing. There's no legal right to the uh, the city has no legal right to an insurance card. Right. Well, the sheriff officer does. It has to be tagged. Right. Okay. Yeah. Currently. Currently. I think the ordinance says. I think the ordinance says in tagged and insured. Unless you got changed. At one point in time, they said that. But in order to get a tag, it has to be insured at least. Yeah, but a lot of them want to pay insurance for one month, and then they drop the insurance. Mm -hmm. and, with no intent of it ever moving. And then you didn't drive it around forever. Yeah. So we had people bring cars in that didn't have the title to the cars. Back to you, Mr. What's up? Really good. Back to you. What else do you have? We have a five minute executive session for legal matters. With the council, the mayor, and the attorneys who I'd ask to have. Make a motion. Make a motion for a five-minute executive session for legal matters, council, mayor, and attorney. I'll second. He's the only one I know where it ties. They had a bunch of kook ones, real nice ones. like a duck. Well, pretty soon you can be a, an otter or something and be a snow and go through. Well, actually, you can be one of those polar bears out playing in snow. Yep. You've been to Colorado this week, you could have had a lot of it. Yeah, that's what I... That's what I heard. Colorado, New Mexico. Yeah. Down there at Albuquerque, they were sliding everywhere. A lot of ice. I'm sure glad we didn't have to go downtown anymore. We had to stop at every stop sign and every stoplight and just slide on through. Yep. And hope nobody was sliding through from the other exactly. way. Exactly. I did that up by the courthouse one year. Good thing that's really becoming. Where's the broken window? Here? Oh, we were going to. It says broken window and screen. I looked at them, I didn't see nothing broke. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, who put Unless it on? it's upstairs in one of the rooms. What did we put it on there? Mm -hmm. Anything else? 
window and went in and said, wouldn't that window at the top of the stairs that's got all plastic over it and this and that? I was wondering if that's what they were talking about, but it's boarded up. It's boarded up, so. Well, I don't know. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, they were supposed to replace windows, but they never got around to doing that either. Oh yeah, it's only been six months. Okay, I just wish they'd make a decision once in a while instead of just looking at each other. I think they're about ready to paint the kitchen. They're about done scraping. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get more off. They are. I don't know why they want to get any more off than what they've got. It ain't. Well, I think I would just tell her that because yeah. it's still a city I building. I told her that the other day when we yeah. did. Yeah. <laughs> we said that before. Well, I mean, it's painted. Well, it's not like she owns the building. All you have to do is just tell her we prefer you not do any more. She's already got the paint. No, she don't have the paint. Oh, okay. You took it back? It's not concrete paint. Okay. Well, that's the only thing that's going to stick in here. You can't just use interior paint. She's going to get some paint in there. I told her I wouldn't worry about well, that. I thought she was just going to do her office, and all of a sudden she's cleaning, um, scraping the, the kitchen. But I mean, okay, she volunteered this stuff, but still, there's a time to stop. And I can't see her getting it done this year because of the fact that we got things coming up. Well, she's got to get it done the 27th. Nobody can be in here the 28th, 29th. We always have some major on Thanksgiving, though. But it ain't on the books yet, so we can stop it, and they can be in here on the 30th. That's when they back, they're back in on the 30th. So yeah, I guess I guess I need to bring that up yeah. on the maintenance report. Yeah, because the. Uh, we always had a family in here on Thanksgiving. I don't remember which family. We still we don't have anything on the books for anybody renting the kitchen on Thanksgiving Day and the day after. Mm -hmm. Okay. He was going to cook dinner. Yeah, right. <laughs> you seen that look she gave you? Yeah, I seen that look. I tried to get it, get her to cut to cook the turkey the, here a while back, and I got that same kind of look. Oh, turkeys are easy. Yeah, I've never made them. Well, be like my daughter-in-law and her first one. She forgot to take the gizzards okay. out. The neck was still in it when she cooked it. Yeah, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Boy, that was a surprise. Oh, <laughs> well, it was. was. I said, I usually have stuffing in my turkey. You got something stuffed in there, but that ain't what I usually put in there. Uh, she, <laughs> poor Megan, she felt so bad. <coughs> yeah, I've seen her and people doing that. Uh, we were going out for a bitter week. <laughs> and we ain't had nobody over it either. I didn't have to come to your house. No, you weren't. I didn't go to over there. For 20 years, I did three dogs. people at my house. Not us. Not hey, my kids all got families. I'm doing me and Greg. My strike was right here. We'll be back in session, please. No action was taken.
One more. I'm sorry. Did you say you have one more thing? Yeah. Okay. And this is following up on a conversation last month about the mobile home installation permits. It currently says the fee, um, based on the city's valuation, be established by the city based on the valuation of the manufactured home. I changed it on this one to say. Um, the fee for each manufactured home installation permit shall be established by the governing body of the city based on the city's actual costs and expenses incurred to process the application. So rather than worrying about how do you value the is what's it cost us to process the application. Okay. 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 So we need to adopt this one. If, if you guys are okay with the wording on that, yeah. Right. Short number. I didn't bring my notebook. I don't know. You're fired. Yep. Did you that for the I'm going to give that to Dan and just have him straight through that when he gets a chance. And I, I don't know if we've adopted another ordinance yet this year or not. We can wait till next month to adopt this if you want, because yeah. uh, it sounds like that trailer house ain't coming yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, that'll work, you know. Double check and make sure we get the right one on. And that is everything that I have. Um, can you look through that real quick? Does there one before you take off, there's no one uh, us to sign that contract to see if you say anything wrong with it. Okay, we're going to move on. All right, gentlemen, Mr. Birdsong and Mr. Higgins, turn it back over. There's less on the back. Less on the back, yeah. So I come back. Uh, since uh, I want to thank Ken for giving most of my maintenance report. <laughs> <laughs> you just about how many he said about everything that we had done. Then I uh, have my my uh, concern is what are we going to do with the dumpster? Are we going to keep that longer? Get rid of it when it's full this time? Or are we done with the dumpster for the year? I think we should keep it over another month. There's been a lot of trash going in it. Okay. Been, how many times has it been pulled, you know? Well, we, this, this is just the second time. It's getting close to full now, so. But the first day, the first one, the first, first time. It was full in a hurry. Yeah. It was full in a hurry and stacked beyond full. The more we can help people clean up, though, the more we give an opportunity to clean up, the better. Yeah, I understand that. That's why I brought it. They do. We need to. We need to keep it longer. They're not going to get it tomorrow. They might be mad. You might come just come get it. Yeah. I really don't think so. I don't <laughs> think you'd be mad enough to come get it. Uh, you didn't laugh about it. Uh, well, uh, hey, I just thought uh, it was good that we put it on Ken to make that decision. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're not worried about it, That's what Jeff was saying yeah. out in the parking lot. Wait until we got done with that decision. Okay, the, the, uh, so the yeah. other thing I want to bring up. Yeah. Okay. The other thing I want to bring up is I just. We got still got the leak at the shop, and I mean it's not a leak; it's a lake running through the shop over these rings. I got running out both garage doors, so we do need to take care of my roof if there's any way possible. You want to buy a swimsuit or? 
Well, no, I don't need a swimming suit because I can't swim, so you don't know. But I need to keep that in your mind that we need to do something with my wife. Or it's going to look like a grocery store across on the other side. Is Willie getting anything with that? Oh, I'm dilly dallying on it. I'm going to slip away. I've got to get back up there. Is there a leak in here, too? Yeah, I'll be getting to that. Oh, okay. we, also, okay. we also have a leak here in this kitchen, but I think no more than the leak is here, depending on weather, but if it warms up enough, we could mop some of that stuff on the sloped roof back here and stop it. It's not that big of a leak. It's so a drip. Have it, should we have it looked at before you guys do that? Let a professional well, everybody's look at it. looked at it. This summer, I don't know where you're going to find it. I mean, it's running, it's leaking right above the coffee. Is that roof right not there. fixed when, after the hailstorm? That roof was not touched. Everything that was touched was the main roof here. We didn't have any damage out here that's supposed to be fixed? Okay. It was not even added to the insurance for them to even look at it. Why they didn't, I don't know. But they, we looked at the main well, part of the building. Insurance and ask them why they didn't. Well, well it's about their cat two, 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 two years. Two years ago. He just wanted it where it's warm. Come here, Kitty. Uh, Rose, open the door. Let the cat out. Come on, cat. Oh. You let it in. Come on. Come here, Kiki. It's what? cold. I'm not cold. Better catch it. I love you. Well, I think we should have the Anybody want to cat? Yeah, it should still be in the same deductible. Come on, baby. You gotta go back out. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. They should look at it. I don't know why they wouldn't have done that. They should have looked at it, and maybe they'll come back and say they looked at it and there was no damage found on that part. But I don't need to give Walker a call and have him get all the big dust again. And if he shows paperwork that it just they didn't show damage on it, then. <coughs> You don't think it was ever even looked at? I don't or, think. Not while I was with the insurance man up on this baby room. He didn't look at that one. Yeah, it should have been on the same deductible. Let's contact the insurance man and double check. And then I guess I would like to see sooner than later with snow coming and that's a lot i mean with that stuff melting and slowly melting it would be <coughs> more damage to the building so mm -hmm. if we and we're running out of warm days so if we find out that insurance is not if they looked at it and it's not covered or something then we probably need to have a meeting sooner than later and get some action taken even if we've got to have a special meeting before we run out of days or before we I know come. it's the old roofing up there because they added the slope roof over 10 years ago before I was here. Yeah. That yeah, because it used to be a flat roof. So I guess find out from insurance and let's get a special meeting so we can get something mm -hmm. done before we have damage. Okay. Okay, that takes yes. care of the roof. Uh, our help in the kitchen for the friendship meals has started scraping the kitchen floor back here to paint it. Uh, they've already done the office floor and we need to paint the kitchen floor so I guess I'm asking since we don't have anything in the kitchen for the 28th and 29th for Thanksgiving, we have nothing on the books now. 
that they painted the 27. So we have the 28th and 29th for that paint to cure because we have somebody back in here on the 30th in the kitchen. Or do we leave it like the way it is now? Because I don't know when we'll get to it where we're not going to have anybody until after the first of the year. Yeah, but I would rather, if somebody wanted to rent it for Thanksgiving, it's more important to rent it for Thanksgiving than just deny if it's if there's a couple days where it's not being used. Because I've got to buy the paint for to do the kitchen floor because it's concrete. It's got to be done like a garage floor. But I need to let them know that since this has started, what's going to happen? Do we need, if they're going to have to have it done by the 27th, are we going to put it off till after the 1st to where we have more time that is possibly not ready? 1st of December or 1st of January? 1st of January. Because there's no, I mean, there's no good time between now and the 1st, till after the 1st of January if we don't do it now. Not in my mind to have the at least two days for it to cure. So did they just start scraping the floor and? Well, they she started scraping the floor in the office, and I gave her paint. Did she have from to do the office? Do any of she said nothing about scraping the paint. She told me she was going to scrape the paint and paint the floor. So it needed done in her office because it was bubbling up. And it needed done back there in places in the kitchen floor where it's bubbling up. Well, like yeah, you see here. Yeah, but they're not an employee right. and they're running the, they're scraping and stuff and they're not an employee, so who's liable if they get hurt? Because they never <laughs> said anything about, we were never aware of it. Sorry, say that again. So if a uh, if friendship meal lady is just randomly starting to scrape a floor and didn't have permission to do it and stuff, but she cut her hand scraping or something. Who's liable for this? Because they never say anything to us. Well, if that was it kind of jumping ahead to that agreement, um, the, the prior version of it, we had a provision in there that they wouldn't have anybody in the building outside the hours of 10 to 1. Because and what's they, happening again? Because they say they're only carrying an insurance from 10 to 1. So, yeah, I, I think if they've got people in here doing it, it needs to be at times that their insurance is applying to it. And that's when they've been working on it. Is. That's been the same hours that they've been working scraping the floor. It's mainly from 10 to 1. But who approves them they to might. do it? We told them where we're going to buy the paint to do this. The first trip we made, they want to inspect the floor, let them buy the paint to do it. I got it's just interior paint and it won't there, stick to the there's a ton of paint in that one office is that just interior paint that's not for concrete I think they painted the gym with it the concrete walls and stuff is that just regular that's just regular interior, interior paint, paint. Okay. 
which I mean, I know probably two gallon will do that for sure. And that's 120, about 120 bucks for the concrete. So are we, if somebody calls and wants to rent this for Thanksgiving, because it has happened in the past, are we going to tell them they can't, or are we going to let them? I'm just trying to think. I thought there was somebody that always rented around this year. Um, Ranch Ranch Guns and, um, So, I mean, that's fine with me. I just need to know so. That was it. Live in my report. They rented it before the Thanksgiving, so we need to decide if we're going to say we're not allowing it to be rented or all of it. So, are you going to wait till after the first of the year to paint? I think it would be more important to let. Because it's not a hazard, is it? No, it's not a hazard. Yeah. Swept off the first year. Get the holidays passed. First, it's going to be passed, I guess. Um, okay, that's a consensus on that. Okay. Uh, I have my pickup the big, the 2006 Ford. I need to have to put it in the shop, asking permission to put it in the shop at Cooper Tire or somewhere to have the front end of mine. The driver's side tire is eating out on the outside edge. As long as it's not practical. I would say Anderson Alignment or Cooper and Hutch. Cooper and Hutch would be good job. Prefer them to Google and Craft? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really? Google and Craft might light it on fire. Google and Hutch do this. Well, well that's going to cost some money. We'll probably need to slow down. Are we just getting an alignment? Or if it needs a ball joint. Probably needs a ball joint or something. Ball joint or something. Are we upper or lower? Are we needing like two front tires at the same time because it's eight one off or it's well, not? The, yeah, this side is fine. It's a front tire on the driver's side. Well, we can't have a tire to be assigned it because then I would want yeah, to the tire. Right. You got to put the tire on it. You got to put it. And if there's anywhere on the other tire, you got to do them both. Oh, we don't know how much you can spend. We don't know if it's. We can approve the work to be done. We don't have to do it by the amount. If you're approving two tires and the maintenance to be done for an alignment, you can approve it by the job, not by the amount. I make a motion that we send the 2006 Ford to. Cooper Tire and Hutch to get two front tires and the parts needed to get the alignment done. I'll second that. Aye. 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 Okay, the next thing you need. I guess so that you're smart enough if they call you and tell you it's five thousand dollars we want to know. Yeah, I can't <coughs> yeah. pretty sure you're okay, smart enough. Yeah. But forty nine fifty is okay. Yeah. It'd be okay. Uh, I've got a cylinder on my backhoe that leaking past. I'd like to put get that cylinder off and take it to Steve's repair where I have the other cylinders rebuilt on the coyote tractor. Do you have a bid for him? 
Did you get a price on it? Yet? No, I haven't got a price on it. I didn't look he, back in my he's paper. He's not even around right now. Hmm? He's not even around right now. He's in California, Washington, White House. So there's there's only one guy there. I'm not sure he's the guy that can do all that stuff. Uh, I can get a bid for next month then. And I would say you might get a bid for the bid price. Because I know he was, he was cheaper on, a, on my cylinders on my tire yeah. track over the minute. And while we were working on the backhoe, I tried to find teeth from my backhoe bucket and I cannot find them. We went, so we ordered the cut these old teeth off, put new ones on the backhoe to where we can get teeth for the back. We've ordered them already, the pieces to go back on the back of the bucket. I figured that was in, it was less, it was in on my budget to repair, to replace those. But I thought I'd let you know that's what we've done because that bucket, nobody can find teeth for that. bucket that I had. And while I'm talking about buckets, there was, there, we had, I have a chance to buy a narrower bucket, 18 inch wide bucket, which I believe we will need in the future to digging because getting into places to where there's already gas line, sewer line, water line, South Central Telecom, my two foot bucket is too wide to get into those places to dig. The bucket's $100 to buy the bucket. We'll have to do some work on it to, to fit the JCB, but Urban, Urban assured me that he could do the work to make it fit the J JCB. Did you say that? <laughs> But for $100, I mean, an 18-inch bucket would be... Well, like where you guys were digging last year when it was frozen out there, you'll, have, you'll dig way easier with an 18-inch or with a four. Make a motion to prove that you guys buy the 18-inch bucket for $100. I'll second. Aye. 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 Okay. okay, that's the end of my report. You have anything else? Uh, yeah. The, did we get the last of the sewer line approved in line? Where the hole was? Or were no. we still waiting on a bid on that? I think we're still waiting on a bid on that. Which, which sewer line? Hmm? Which sewer line is up there? The one that had the crack in the hole and we were talking about going six feet or the whole block? Yeah, no, we got the bid, but the they said I could let it go for a while. Let it go. Look at this now. That's what they said? Yeah. Well, what's the county said? Oh. Yeah, but we're getting more caught up on them. We know where we are on the money now. Do you get half the bid for that? No, no, man. Probably not. Not, not have it at the shop still yet. But Is it still good, you say? Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it, but we can get a bid. Yeah, let's get a bid on that. Since we're caught up on our budget and <coughs> we know where we are, let's get the, the bid on that. I think it was 14000 Yeah, somewhere in that neighborhood. I can't remember that would be exactly. the block. That's a, that would be the block. Yeah, along between uh, Charles and Maine. Yeah. Yeah, you can have that portion as well. Yeah. Was there anything else like that that we put off that we were waiting on the budget on? Windows. Mm -hmm. Windows. Mm -hmm. Windows. Mm -hmm. Windows. Mm -hmm. But that's on. That's on his. 
the windows and our roofs, roof was on a grant. Because we were going to do the windows and this door. Should we talk to the... Uh, accountant and see if there's any grants they can help us with on because they said if we hired them they would write grants for us and or maybe we would get the budget yeah mm -hmm. maybe there's grants out there that is not reno county that we should be looking at that they could help us with the, or maybe we even i mean i can call it maybe we should even have them look at helping us with the reno county one. I mean, yeah, I can call him. I think a little bit of money spent in the right spot is well worth the money and the time. And then I'd say if that's another thing that coming towards the end of the year, there may be grants coming up that are time sensitive that we would maybe need to have a special meeting for because some of those are going to be closing out here at the end of the year so if they found anything that quick we might need to have a special meeting on that too along with whatever it was oh look Questions for the maintenance staff. One once, going twice. Thank you. Thank you. Madam Safety Officer, I'm looking in your direction. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, anything from the custodial staff? Thank you. Unfinished business. Uh, we still are dealing with uh, the uh, homeschool room. And did you want to speak to that? Or? Well, I just want to know where we slid it back. We got a, I don't know, they received Did we letter. post a notice on the door that we were asking them to be evicted? Can we go in the room and clean up with that eviction posted? Or? Yeah. How long ago did we get that done? We heard anything at all from them since then. They still owe us money. They've at one point, a couple months ago, they said they'd come in and pay, but they have not. Yeah. They haven't been back in. They're back in the room. Not that, we're, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> yeah, we can, we can do that. We're going so we'll be looking at changing the locks on it, or the that key goes to more doors? I think, no, it's just that. that no, it's, it's that key is not. And they still have their key. Yeah, we won't get that back. Um, I would like to so, was weight and change them or did it get changed? Because their property is still in there also. What kind of contact have you had with anything? Um, so I've had a bit with her on Messenger, but not really she never responded after the last one and he's trying to call her. Okay. I let's see the other round of that just tell her that you know we put their stuff out, something something to that effect. If you don't to set a date and say, say by you. this day the locks will yeah. be changed or something. Yeah. The property becomes you know, I'll put something together if you send on that. Okay. Yeah. I have to just send them a picture I can do we need to get a legal address for that? I can well if they've been responding to you, I can write a letter and scan it and then we can send send that. Need to be uh, registered mail. Well if, if we have a if we have an address that we can get yeah, it'd be nice to send it certified to know they have it but I think I could probably come up with one. I can come up with the address to the property that they have put a trailer house next to the other house. I believe all the mail goes to the same mailbox. 
Throw it on the mailbox. We, we can try it and see what happens. Well, the guy that lives in the other house is going to give it to him. Okay. Well, he is not. <laughs> no. I have to do some work and maybe Michaela if you think about it. Send me a message and I'll try to get you. That happens. You're going in another house, will or will not give it to him? He'll give it to him. I think so. I don't think the current possible ones in here. Is that care of uh, new business? What do we know about the Christmas parade? And, uh, Wait a minute, Mr. We got to go back to the aging project contract. So, looking at that contract, it, it's the same one we signed last time. I, I don't really have an issue with it other than what I talked about the last time we added that language to it that said they're not going to have anybody in the building outside those hours at 10 to 1. And they're back, they have had some, again, outside those hours. So, so I don't I, know if can highlight that again. I, I can email the language that we asked and they're, whoever the director was last time had no problem with it. So I can send that to you, okay, we'll send on to him with that. Yeah. If that works, I can just copy and paste it and say, you put this in the last, the last version of this contract, and like you had it in this one for the same reasons. Okay. Anybody got a problem with that contract? I make a motion we accept the Adrian Project contract with Danny's amendment. Uh, Aye. 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 All right. Now, can we go to new business? So. <coughs> we know about the Christmas parade. I thought there was none. I don't believe there is one. Park parking. Sorry. He's ready for bed. Move on to broken windows. Park parking. Park parking. Park parking. Um, I know good. there has been at least two events down at the park, the main park by the pool, and there have been a lot of vehicles parked in the grass. Mm -hmm. We have signs up all over that place that says no parking in the grass. They've made not just these last two events, but there's ruts there. I know the guys probably don't enjoy trying to mow over the ruts. So, well, I don't know what we can do to keep people from actually parking in the grass. When, you, when we allow, and I'm just going to mention one because it was the last one. The FFA did the little deal up there. Good for the community and stuff. But why do we need them all parked in the room? And then, like two nights later, one of the kids that's in that FFA is driving around out there in the park. So we just set a bad example of people driving on the grass because then you can't even tell. I mean, there's a lot of tracks out there. So I don't know if we need to put up a cable across the places where they can get in and keep it locked. I mean, I hate to lock it. I don't know how else you keep them off the grass. That means we'd have to put a cable down along the south side of it. Because there's no ditch there. The whole south side's open. Isn't there a little ditch there? No. Isn't there, isn't there signs? There's no signs. But I know, but I mean, are they far enough apart they can drive through? Oh, yeah, the they're 100 feet far. Oh. Or maybe farther. Like five signs along the whole south side. Well, there's no way it's easy to drive right in there. Mm -hmm. We used to park cars in there for the car show. But that, but that, that was, that was for commercial. That too. was for commercial. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we still had signs up. I did think that was pretty bad that one of the FFA members that was part of. Did you bring that up to the FFA teacher? Um, I haven't cornered her yet, but I was going to. Because I see her quite often. probably take care of that. I was going to. And she will take care of it because I donate the meat for 
oh, their fundraisers <laughs> and stuff, and they will take care of it. Yeah, she doesn't like to put up with any nonsense. So. I don't know. I just I don't think they need to be parking it. I mean, if, if the, we're going to allow parking, take the signs down. But if we've got signs up, we shouldn't be parking in there. So I don't know what you guys think, but that was more than like one or two vehicles would be one thing, but a whole pile of them. I didn't I call if the FFA ever contacted us initially to use the park for their activity. Well, I was I was thinking about that too. Not 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 that it's a big deal, but it, but uh, it, it's a public park. Do you have to get permission to use a public park? There is a thing about getting permission for using the park. I'm not well, sure about that one. There is a there is something in the ordinance so about you getting to permission to reserve the park, the building at the park for stuff like a that. shelter house. Yeah. The park. I think it's an ordinance. I can't remember. There is something. Because we used to deal with it with uh, the car club. I think if you speak to the this particular issue will be resolved. Oh yeah, I it think doesn't prevent anybody else from driving. There. I think, we'll I think the time I think the time will come that we're going to have to put gates up to keep people away from our water our water well house up there because there's a lot of. What is the question with broken windows? There is a broken window in the front of the library and a missing screen. I'd like to see that fixed. Okay. I don't know if you can find the screens or if you can get another one made. Or when you do that, get a Money for it or we just need to get a quote on it or just need a piece of glass. Probably probably crack glass. I mean if it's just a cheap glass it's within what you can if it's just a cheap glass that you can do, you guys have can spend that money and do it. But if it's some big bill, you'll get a quote on it and come back to us. Yeah. So what do we sign on the park parking now? Well, I don't think there's anything you can do other than be in contact with people who have, who have uh, violated or put up more signs. Or uh, some type of gate. Uh, you can do put the put gates up or you could look into putting cable all the way around it. That's going to cost. So pull down the signs. Let people park in there. You could just sell a whole park to me. <laughs> well, it's going to be expensive. We what, have bills to pay. Let's get the silent bid started. <coughs> Parking by permit. Huh? Mm -hmm. How many are going to be highly expensive? Yes, so, far. Yeah. so just mark that off then. Well, I. I think we're taking action because uh, we're going to speak to the FFA person. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's, that's not that's, there that's, all every day. Yeah, right. that's, that's one kid being foolish. And I don't think the kid was the one that probably went in and parked the 25, 30 cars that was there that day in the park. You know, I don't think I don't think the FFA kid had, has anything to do with parking in the park. Apparently they don't teach him how to read. <laughs> We're making fair fun of fair food. What do you propose? I don't know, that's what I'm asking. I mean, we We're either take the signs the down or when we see people parking in there, I guess we'll say, hey. We'll go put up gates and don't let them out. Well, I mean, it's about like the ordinance book. We have all these ordinances, we can't really follow them. We have signs up, we can't do anything about that. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I don't believe we either need to take them down or I to fix the problem. You can put up a few more signs. I was just wanting to get everybody else's thought on it. Must just be something. You see them go up there and get them off. That's right. That's what you can do. 